Namaste. Today's video is about uh, a stuffed paratha. Whenever this term stuffed paratha comes to our mind is alu paratha. Uh, so today I'll be showing a paratha with a uh, paratha in which I'll be using the combination of alu as well as microgreens. So, so uh, let us just have a look at the ingredients. Here I have made a soft dough. It is completely uh, wheat flour. And uh, I need, I am not going into details of this because you know how much dough to make for your own family. But I generally take uh, one mutti or one handful uh, for making two chapatis or for making one paratha. So you can use uh, this uh, atta according to your uh, according to the number of your family members. Here I have taken six medium sized potatoes that has been washed uh, thoroughly then pressure cooked and then peeled and mashed like this. It should not have any lumps. Uh, this I had done to speed up our cooking process. And next in the list comes onions. Here I have taken four small onions this size onions i have washed it and cut it into small pieces and then we need the green chilies that has been cut into small pieces here i have taken six green chilies then here i have taken a combination of uh, ginger and garlic but then um, some people they don't uh, like the taste of uh, this garlic in that case uh, you can just uh, omit this part and then we need uh, some garam masala. I had taken around half spoon of garam masala. Half spoon of uh, red chilli powder. Around half teaspoon of haldi. Some oil. Required amount of oil. And then the most important thing is the microgreens. Here uh, I had taken the microgreens of uh, mustard seeds. Uh, then till seeds that is sesame seeds then comes uh, flax seeds uh, chia seeds and then uh, microgreens of some lentils as well i have washed it and then cut it into small pieces so let us start so i'll just i kept a pan into this i'll be putting oil any vegetable oil now the oil is hot i will be putting in the green chili with uh, ginger and garlic to this i will be adding the green chilies i just sort it for some time some people as i told they don't like the taste of uh, garlic but then I personally feel uh, this ginger garlic combination it gives a nice smell to our aloo paratha and now I will be adding the onion and now this uh, stuffing for aloo paratha it is uh, done in different methods but here I am um, gently sorting it sorting everything and preparing a dry uh, mixture the reason is uh, because uh, this comes as a uh, complete dish this uh, sabji uh, when we pre prepare it like this uh, if you have some extra you can just store it in the fridge and that can be used uh, the next day uh, as uh, a side dish for rice or maybe you can use it as a curry for uh, your chapati or puris so i generally make uh, aloo parathas this way by sorting the onions and everything first preparing a uh, dry stuffing and then stuffing and making the aloo paratha so i'll just add some salt The required amounts of salt, I will be just adding the salt for this. I will be adding haldi. Like this red chili powder. As well as garam masala. The beautiful smell 
of uh, the ginger garlic paste is coming. That's why I told the, that it's better to add, but then those who don't like the flavor can definitely omit that. Now the onion has changed this color. Now I will be adding the microgreens to it. And I'll just allow this microgreens to cook for some time. Now this is almost cooked. I'll be adding this mashed potatoes into it. I'll give it a mix. So our stuffing is ready. I just uh, kept a small portion. Uh, in a separate uh, plate so that it comes to the room temperature because only then you can make the stuffing. Now our stuffing is uh, has come to the room temperature so I'm, I have taken a big portion of the dough I'll gently make it like this and uh, give it a shape of a small bowl so that I can put in the stuffing here See, now I will just cover the portion like this. I will just cover it. And then with this lavishly in a mixture of atta and maida. Here I have used a combination of atta and maida. And first, it is better that you do the flattening of this uh, dough with your hands. Because otherwise uh, the stuffing has a tendency to come off. So you first gently Press all the sides of the paratha with your hands and then after some time you can just use your rolling pin or baler So while cooking uh, the parathas you might use in, you might use uh, ghee oil or maybe a combination of both here i have used uh, vegetable oil and you have to be quite liberal with the oil part i have a guest over here he is our labrador pup uh, he is 8 years old and he is very greedy for food so he is uh, just he can't resist the wonderful smell. <laughs> so it's peeping. Every time I make something, he just wants his share. So I hope you enjoyed seeing this uh, uh, recipe. And I hope you can, uh, you will give it uh, a try like this. I mean a combination of aloo with microgreens. So you can write your comments in the comment section. I will be eagerly waiting for that. So our aloo parashas are ready. You can have this with a combination of uh, acha. This is a homemade acha and uh, of course you can have it with curd. It doesn't uh, require any special curry because uh, already this is tough. So I will be back with another interesting video very soon. Till then it is Tata Bye Bye from me. Take care and have a nice day.